Hi viewers, welcome to a brand new episode of The Travel Guide. What you see in front of me is the Malangara Reservoir. Today we are going to explore a picnic spot which is famous in not only in Kerala but in the whole of India. It's called Ilavida Poonjira. It's in the uh, district of Kottayam, so 50 kilometers from Kottayam railway station. The place Ilavida Poonjira, then as the name signifies, it says it's a pond where the it's a pond of flowers where leaves don't fall. So we need to explore more of it. So guys, let's move to Ilavida Poonjira. From uh, Kottayam, you travel down to Todubuda and from Todubuda, that, uh, a place called Muttam <coughs> comes out. And from Muttam, we have to take a left and, uh, and go again, maybe 10 to 15 kilometers. I am not sure because we are not following the geographical traits or we are not following any GPS location indicator or something like that. We have just the ideas in our mind and we are taking local suggestions on how to reach over there. You can see on your left, it's the Malangara Dam. Itiki Dam is 59 kilometers from here. In the beginning, we have seen the Malangara Reservoir. That was the part of the dam where the water gathers. You can see on your left, it's the Malangara Dam. Itiki Dam is 59 kilometers from here. In the beginning, we have seen the Malangara Reservoir. That was the part of the dam where the water gathers. So the roads are very small, it's like I'm climbing uphill, yep, I'm climbing uphill, it's a very different ro road, actually when we go, Ilavira Punjira, it's like a top station, when you go over there, they say like you can see almost uh, three districts of Kerala. So the straight road goes to Vagaman as told by the local people and this right turn goes to Ilavira Punjira. First gear is the most preferred one. I'm trying on the second gear. Yeah, it works for me. Make sure you go very slowly. Don't hasten yourself. Be very careful. The road is not as good as it has been till now. really a bad 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 road it's good if you have an off-road jeep along with you that would be best for this terrain i'm telling a deep gorge over there On our way, we stopped to have a look at this beautiful, gorgeous waterfall over here. You can see how the water comes from the top all the way down. It, the force increases because it's gaining its momentum as it comes down. So, if you are interested, you can just stop here for a while, maybe 10 to 20 minutes. Take a bath and then move ahead. The water is crystal clear and it's very pure, it's very good water. The main thing is to take photographs and all, you can go down over there. Be very careful, the rocks are very slippery, we are not going to go down there right now. But I am amazed to see how the water comes straight down. This is how waterfalls are created. After a gruesome driving of close to 6 kilometers, we came to a place called Chakikau. The locals over here, they advised us not to take this car over here because Everyone has to drive into a four-wheel jeep. So basically you reach here and then you have to take a four-wheel jeep. As for now, it's 700 rupees for just three and a half kilometers. So you know, you can calculate how much per kilometer they are charging. They told me only four-wheel drive jeeps can go over there. The rocks are very risky, even the journey is risky. And maybe we can reach up till one and a half kilometers or two kilometers. If the jeep can't go above that, we have to literally walk. So this journey is proving to be much dangerous. Let's go and face the unknown. That's why the travel guide is here for. So guys, do follow me. 
So viewers, this is the four-wheel drive jeep that's going to take us to the top of Ilavira Punjira. No other vehicle is supposed to reach over there. So I will show you on the way how the terrain is, how the rocks are so bad and all. So if you are coming on bike, make sure do try to come on a bike. If you are coming on a bike, maybe it's possible for you to reach there. But currently I don't have a bike with me right now. So I am going to use this jeep. So let's see how the journey. Now the real challenge begins for the four-wheel drive jeep because as you can see in front of us there's literally no road just rocks have a look how the tire revolves how the four-wheel drive comes into work oops oh my god look at the rocks there's the jeep already going up look at the rocks i'm not sure how we are going to make it up the way is getting more and more dangerous. My car would never make this road. See how tough it is. We are in Ghatiam district. I am really amazed to find this place. I told you earlier, bikes may make it. but. So